Hi again. Episode 8 of The Moth Hunter. We are dealing with... Hello, my kid threads. How are you? We're dealing with pantry moths tonight. Finding them because I found one infestation in three closed plastic bags of rice. That's all it took. And I showed my friends um, what eggs look like in a bag. There was no moth flying out of the cupboard. There was just eggs hanging in there. And you don't want to eat those eggs, right? But if those eggs are there, you know that there's eggs elsewhere. Hey, my kids, regs, I'm so glad you're intrigued because I'm going to show you, I've, I've been cleaning the spice rack and I'm showing you evidence of two different types of moth situ or just infestations that, are, that can happen. So hi everyone. I'm Katie. I'm the moth hunter. I just made up the show. It's my new show. It's going on Periscope and then I upload the videos into YouTube so you can watch them at any time. But tonight I'm cleaning the spice rack and I'm showing you the signs of what to look for so that you don't eat moth larvae and eggs because that's disgusting right but that's really easy to happen in any cupboard in a new home old home clean home I'm gonna get rid of every single one that's right it is awful it's disgusting my husband just made chili this weekend and do you know what he prided himself in that chili he said Katie I made I put this is everything chili I put everything in that chili and we all ate it Okay, here's what we ate, you guys. You ready for this? Are you ready for this? Because I'm gonna show you what to look for in your spices so that you know that you need to throw it out. If you missed an episode here about the dried mustard or the ground mustard, go, it's on live on Twitter right now, still within the 24 hour cycle. So go press play on that because you can see what to look for with clumps. That's a big hint, so go play it or maybe it's in YouTube by now. But I'm gonna turn the camera around because I'm gonna show you five examples. Okay, guys, what is this? Cumin. Great. First thing I look for, and I've been dealing with moths for two years. That's why I am now the moth hunter. I am obsessed with them. I am certifiably obsessed. This is a clue. Do you see these remnants on the top of this uh, lid? That should not be there. That is not like just crumbs of cumin. That shouldn't be there. That is evidence of little eggs crawling around and becoming cocoons. So this cumin's not even moving when I shake it. My next te test is to shake powdered stuff. That's not even moving. There, it finally moved. So that's telling me that there's a strong possibility that there's a lot of little cocoon moth eggs sucking the moisture out to feed themselves. Also, there's an episode um, of uh, right now live on Periscope, go play it, about basil and how I show you a silk cocoon dropping down it's just one in there. Oh no, there's two actually. It shows you how they drop down on a piece of silk and eat one piece of basil at a time and just more of those eggs start doing that. Look guys, what's this? It's Nigerian cayenne. Okay, let's do the top of the, the top of the top test. Yep, it looks like there's stuff. Those are not crumbs. Eh -ho -ho, clear evidence, holes. Now these are, these are eaten by little cocoon larvae. It is not eaten by a flying moth. Flying moths means you are too late. Flying moths are not eating anymore. They're just laying eggs. And where do they lay eggs? In here. And then it's those little eggs that come out of their little egg and turn into larvae and a cocoon and everything disgusting. And they're the ones eating this stuff. So look at that. I'm doing my shake test. I can't even shake that because it's all like webbed. And that's another thing. It looks webbed deep down in there. See if you can see down in there. It's um, dimensional and it kind of looks like a spider web, but it's not. It's these cocoon larvae moving around. This is how they eat. It is disgusting. We are done. Trash. But I'm doing this because if you find one egg, if you find one situation like this, it's not the only one. Don't think that throwing this away, you're done, because you're not. Because look, I'm gonna show you a couple minor examples and then I'm gonna get to the mother load for this guy. More, ex oh yeah, there's stuff in there. I just suspect it's got the powder, uh, the powdered coating on the inside. Those are not crumbs. Those are probably those egg webby things that they make. I am leaving that guy in the trash. 
What about this one? This one is my 10% rule. It's not so bad, but it's got that coating on the inside that I'm a little bit suspect of, of a 10% rule. And I see a couple of clumps that aren't breaking apart that you can see more of on the ground mustard example. You can see what clumps I'm talking about. Okay, here's the mother load. Get ready. This is bad. Curry powder. These are not, these are not, what is happening in here are not moths, I don't think. I'm starting to research them. I think they're called some kind of a beetle. Do you see those black things? That is not curry powder. Those are nasty beetles. They're in there. I don't know why they travel with moths, but they do. So if you see these little beetle things, and they're actually, these are the ones, these little beetles look like, um, helmets like an army helmet and they can be easily found walking around they actually crawl up um, bottles of oil because there's a lot of sticky film on like your oil your olive oils especially if you keep them near the stove like I do I mean I keep them in a cupboard but it's too close to the stove all that food goes up here and it just coats all that and then these little beetles they're so weird they, they crawl up there. You know what, you know what they do. And you don't want them. So this has been the Moth Hunter showing you signs of what to look for for an infestation before they turn into flying moths. Because once they're flying moths, you're cooked. They're laying hundreds of eggs all over your house, your food, your clothes. Just one moth, one moth. Imagine if there was a lot of them. So we look for signs. We're doing prevention. This is easy. This is Katie. I've been, I am the Moth Hunter. You can find these episodes on YouTube. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm going to keep going. <laughs>